In all honesty, I don't have a funny intro for this video, so instead, I'm just gonna toss Platinum off a building and expect you to laugh. First, it's fine if you actively use the operators in this list, or if you want to use them, or if you like them as characters. This is not an attack on you, and it's not even an attack on the character, it's just that their kids kinda suck. However, it is not fine if I had to say that for you to not get angry. Grow up. Next, this list will not mention any operator that is 3 stars or below. Otherwise, the entire list would just be a number 10, Yato, number 9, Noir Corn, number 8, 12F, and that's really boring. Next. I want to immediately address some copium arguments that I see all the time regarding bad operators. There will be a pinned comment addressing four different copium arguments. Now that all that is out of the way, now that I'm done treating you like a f***ing toddler, we can start the list. Number 10. Carnelian. Yup, we're starting right away with the controversial pick of the list. When the discussion is about bad operators, Carnelian is never mentioned. For good reason. There's a reason she's at the bottom of the list. The gap between 10th and 9th place is as wide as Unectis's thighs. But think about it, beside dragging Doc and forcing him to f**k Beeswax, what does Carnelian do? Her gimmick is clearly that she does f**k all half the time, cooking a skill, to then unleash it all in a big payoff, kinda like Angelina, except that Carnelian has no payoff. Half the time she does literally nothing, and the other half she does so little she might as well be doing nothing. And the charge times are really long. Keep in mind, you need to charge the skills twice for them to do anything. Let's look at skill 2, which is why I think most people use Carnelian. It's an AoE bind skill for crowd control, issue being that said crowd control is insignificant. You're binding for a f***ing nanosecond, and she's completely outclassed in this aspect by Ethan, a 4-star cheap free unit that binds more often and for longer. Okay, so her crowd control is insignificant, and she's outclassed by a free unit. What about the DPS? It sucks. You need to send a two-week notice every time you want her to activate her skill tree, and all you get is a really shitty DPS. Don't get me wrong, the DPS itself is very decent, but it really doesn't make up for the long charge time. This DPS is really solid, but it suddenly becomes really bad when I have to wait 5 workdays for it, and her module doesn't help at all. Also, her skill 1 is attack up gamma in a trench coat, and she can survive the hack buff, so there's that. Number 9. Earth Spirit. Starting now, the picks are completely uncontroversial, as you can see. 
Earth Spirit's skill to uh, literally does not work without the module. Without the module, the slow isn't permanent, it's intermittent. But with the module, it is permanent. And even then, it's nothing special. Consider she stops attacking. So uh, this area slow is all she has which is also offered by Manticore, Saria and Suzuran. To some extent, Istina and Angelina as well. Number 8. Jackie. The majority of the reason why Jackie is bad is because of her archetype, brawlers or uh, fighters. God, that's a bad name. The gimmick of the archetype is dealing small bits of physical damage, but really fast. This gimmick makes them fundamentally bad due to how the game calculates physical damage. Physical damage is calculated with a simple subtraction, so if you have 200 attack and the enemy has 100 defense, you're gonna deal 500 damage by hitting them 5 times, since the defense calculation is applied every time. Instead, it's better to have one big attack that deals 1000 damage, because then the defense is only applied once, and you deal 900 damage. The only operator that is the exception to this is Mountain, because Mountain isn't a brawler, he's an AoE guard. He fixed the archetype by not being part of it. Beside being fundamentally crippled due to how the code of the game works, Jackie is also really finicky. She has this weird dodge mechanic. It's like if Flametail was an April Fool's operator. Her skill too is particularly finicky because you really want her to get hit, but she doesn't get increased taunt, like Moinar or Penance. Overall, she's a confusing, frail and weak DPS. Number 7. Bee Hunter. Yes, the other 4-star brawler is here too. Let me tell you, she's bad. I would know. Like Jackie, she is also gimped by the code of the game. And she also has a weird dodge skill for some reason. Why she's worse is because at least Jackie gets stat increases. B Hunter just gets an extremely incomprehensibly niche skill and a massive attack speed buff without actually increasing her attack so uh, she literally tickles the enemies. Overall, she's also a frail and weak DPS, but slightly worse than Jackie. Even if you can do some fun stuff with her skill 1 and Deep Colors skill 2. Number 6. Vigil. I made a whole video explaining why this guy is bad. If you want an in-depth review, you can go watch that video after this one. But the short of it is that Vigil over relies on his wolf summon, but the summon sucks balls. You are better off using Melantha, honestly. The wolves are also contradictory. You want more of them for the increased HP so they won't die to a gust of wind, but having more increases their block count, which makes them die easier because now there is more enemies beating their ass. Both Vigil and the Wolves have bad stats, and they have no niche. Like, for Carnelian, Earth Spirit, Jackie, Bee Hunter, you can cope and mention their niche. Vigil doesn't have one, and uh, at least uh, the previous operators can be healed, 
unlike his wolves, he also makes 2 DP. I will never stop making fun of that. He makes 2 DP. Numero 5. Nightmare. I bet you forgot she was in the game. Yup, me too. I had to be reminded of her existence by someone in my Discord server, otherwise she wouldn't have been in the list, because I literally would have forgotten she's in the game. Nightmare is an example of role compression done really poorly. If you don't know, uh, roll compression is when you uh, compress multiple rolls into one unit. But uh, skill 1 is the worst attempt at roll compression in the game. If you put down a caster, why in the Lord's name do you want it to heal too? Medics exist, Gummy exists, my beloved wife. This is the same issue that abjurers have. Really weird, useless roll compression. Skill 2 is a mess. She afflicts 5 enemies with slow and deals true damage equal to the distance traveled. Do you see why it sucks? It's contradictory, the skill works against itself, the enemies get dealt damage equal to the distance traveled, but she also applies slower so they travel less distance. She has no utility to speak of and no DPS. Also, she has two E0 artworks. Look at this! This is her E2 artwork, it's possibly the worst one in the game. The number that Mista doesn't like, Tsukinogi. When you clicked on this video, you 100% expected Tsukinogi to be on here, but she's fourth. Yeah, there is a whole three operators that are easily worse than Tsukinogi. First, her skill 1 is stupidly niche. Invisibility removal is extremely situational and for that you can borrow Elysium or Silver Ash, and giving people dodge isn't really good at all. Dodge in general is a kinda bad mechanic unless the operator is fully centered around it. Then skill 2 makes her a really inefficient medic, again the weird role compression. Except it doesn't even do that, because she stops attacking, meaning she doesn't heal like medics would. She becomes a really inefficient, really shitty bard. So her first skill is way too niche to have any use, and her skill too makes her eureka but worse. Oh, we are in the top 3. Spuria. Wow, this one is recent. I heard people say she's incredibly bad, but until research for this video, I never really looked into it. And uh, holy shit, what happened? Spuria is what happens when a Hypergriff developer goes rogue, steals all the computers and gives them to a group of raccoons in the sewers that are currently overdosing on Xanax. First of all, Geek Archetype. She loses HP over time and she has no way to gain it back on her own. This is paired with low HP. You need a medic to babysit her. Skill 1 is... Uh, something? It does something? It's one of the skills in the game? It has an effect? But she doesn't gain anything from increased attack speed. She isn't hack. Her talent gacha has no particularly good result. 
So uh, you don't get anything out of it. Skill to uh God, what the f she only helps snipers. The buff is way, way too small, so it's completely insignificant. And when attacking, both her and the snipers have a chance to self-stun. So it completely negates whatever DPS increase from the buff. In short, this skill isn't just bad. It's actively harmful. You are debuffing the operators. She is the first operator debuffer in the game. And her module is worthless. The worst operator, but not quite. Quartz. Like Vigil, I also made a video just thoroughly exploring why she is bad. So, uh, for a detailed explanation, check out that video after this one. Short of it is that she isn't just useless like the other operators in this list, Quartz genuinely does not function. She doesn't work on a fundamental level. Her skill too is, again, actively harmful to herself. You have a unit made out of paper, she has zero defense, and then you make her take 25% more damage from everything. The idea here was to have a glass cannon, but Quartz did not bring the cannon, just a slab of glass. Her DPS sucks, it's not enough to compensate for the fact she will explode if you look at her wrong. Every role she could possibly have is done better by another 4 star. Her talent is worthless, her archetype is worthless, she is worthless. She gets no benefit from being made out of wet sand, so she's just an operator that's made of wet sand. Everything you could possibly pull out of your ass to defend her doesn't work, she just doesn't function as an operator. Before we get to number one, here's some honorable mentions. Hung, he's Nerl if she was way way less versatile and finicky to use. Kiera, she's like Click, but without the utility and without the damage. She struggles to freeze enemies on her own. Often she'll need support from Aurora or Gnosis. Chestnut, skill 2 has an outrageous SP cost, and he's the worst version of Honeyberry, a free operator. Corroserum, my man was literally just created to bloat the operator pool. He brings nothing to the table at all. Remember when people said that Ifrit was situational before everyone realized you can just put her anywhere and she still works? Yeah, Corroserum is actually situational like how people thought Ifrit was. And now, at long last, I present you the worst operator in the entire game, without question. Scuddy Guard, no, I'm joking, Frostleaf. She is the only operator in the entire game that gets permanently worse when you E2. Spuria is f***ed over by her skill. Quartz is f***ed over by her stats. Frostleaf gets f***ed over by the elite system. Yeah, once you E2 her, she's just permanently worse compared to E1 Max Frostleaf. This is because of her talent lowering her attack speed, essentially screwing over completely her skill 1 cycles. And skill 1 is essentially her only usable skill, because skill 2 has a horrible uptime and a way too high SP cost. 
yeah, you sober her DPS so badly by e doing that not even masteries can fix it. Just by virtue of becoming worse by being e two, she is the worst operator in the game. But her gimmick is also terrible. Earth Spirit outclasses her in crowd control. When compared to a normal slower, her slow has a limited uptime, smaller range, and no multi target. The freeze is also unreliable with a low chance to activate. And did I mention she has lower DPS than Midnight? Yeah, it's true. Frostleaf is worse than most 3 stars too. At equal level, Midnight does more DPS. Ah, uh, God! You know who's a great operator though? My wife, Gamia! You should max her out. Okay, he hear me out, hear me out. First of all, Gummy has great stats and a great time. Well, that was a long video, wasn't it? So uh, thank you for watching, and thank you to the wonderful channel members shown on screen right now, and uh, a special thank you with an added smooch to uh, Tech404, Lubpo, Good Old Brian, Come to Brazil, Bahaigna, Chromchan, but JJF, and Yuval. It's in part thanks to you all wonderful people if the videos keep coming out. Oh.